Yes, they would never. <laughs> they would never take turns tripping balls out in space. Well, if you can get a golf ball and a collapsible club on, then, like, definitely get some pharmaceuticals on there. <laughs> yeah, zero-G psychedelics. We don't even know. It's important. I mean, it might be useful in our long-term space travel. You having a hard time in your, your long voyage to Mars? We've got just the thing for you. Come on in and have a seat. <laughs> Some pretty, pretty light therapy. <laughs> no, they would never bring a gorilla costume into space. I would rather just have it be like a personal time science experiment than try and get permission. always wanted to try a sensory deprivation tank. I don't know if I would com combine a psychedelic with a, a sensory deprivation tank, but I've always wanted to try it. I find it easier to throw large or small items. I actually struggle a little bit with the smaller pieces of clay. And you can see like the way my hand just engulfs this little half pounder. Uh, so putting, getting good leverage on it feels kind of difficult. Any smaller than this and I really struggle. Um, but the bigger pieces invariably uh, are more difficult just because so there's more mass to move. for a, a trip to a trip to the tank for my next birthday. Yeah, I think one pound is what I throw the most. I've got my my jig here for cutting